Hi everybody, Brian from Witch Doctor here. And today we did a little test on um, the effects of humidity on powder. Um, there was uh, uh, some, some data published in 2011 that looked at uh, humidity and powder charge and how much uh, basically water content you can get um, in in your powder if, if left in a very humid environment um, and so I was um, struck by that article and thought hmm let's put this to the test and see in practical terms um, what this could mean so uh, basically what I did is I took N133 powder and I took my 6 PPC rifle um, I put the same I have this lot of powder here from 2018 I took an empty uh, powder um, container here, dumped a pound of powder into it, and left the container open overnight. Uh, and then I took the powder from my sealed uh, container, and I loaded rounds, uh, 10 rounds with from the sealed container, and then after leaving this container open for 24 hours, loaded 10 rounds from this container and shot two five shot groups from this container two five shot groups from the open container um, to see if they had any effect um, what i also did was put my kestrel right next to the open container here if you have a kestrel um, there's a nifty function here if you go to the um, weather mode um, what you could do is it gives you data on t temperature, um, wind chill, humidity, heat index, dew point, etc. And you can you can set this so that um, it takes measurements of all of those things um, every 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, etc. Um, I set it down to 10 minutes so that I can see over the 24 hour period how humid did it get um, with next to this uh, powder keg that was open and um, basically what I found was there was anywhere from 65% uh, humidity to 90.8% humidity in that 24 hour period with most of the period having um, 80 to 90% humidity. Um, the temperature was 65.6 um, .6 degrees to 69 degrees, and the barometric pressure was 29.64 to 29.74. Um, so, so basically during that 24 hour period, this open bottle was exposed to a great deal of humidity. Um, I, I do all my testing in the Pacific Northwest, and uh, it's fall right now, the fall season, so it, it, it's pretty wet. Um, what did I what I did was I loaded the sealed powder in my thrower uh, through 10 rounds and then loaded the unsealed powder uh, in the, or I took out the sealed powder <laughs> emptied it out and then I put in the unsealed powder loaded 10 rounds and then emptied that back into here and so here's the results um, up here are the results of the sealed powder and you can see the velocities here uh, for this five shot group 3417 feet per second and the group size was 0 0.4105 for this other five shot group it's 3420 feet per second and the group size is 0 0.2355 okay so that's an average aggregate there of 0 0.322 and an average velocity of 3,418 and a half feet per second. Now here's the interesting <laughs> result. Um, the open container for 24 hours um, showed 3,389 feet per second for this five shot group and 3,381 feet per second for this five shot group. Um, both five shot groups were above 0.4 and the average ag was 0.5115 so there was a pretty significant difference here um, in this group here 
the sealed group where we did not expose the powder, it was sealed. Um, there was, it was about 28 feet per second faster, uh, I'm sorry, 33.5 feet per second faster on average. And um, it had a 0.1895 smaller uh, group on average than the, the powder that was left out over a 24 hour period. So basically what, what I think is happening here is I tuned this rifle to this load, this load, because I always seal my powder. I never leave it out. Um, but there's, you know, a chance you, you, you know, you don't tighten up the lid um, or you can have a thrower in a, in a match and then maybe you're in a rush to leave the match and you leave it there overnight and the cap isn't, you know, sealed correctly and there's humidity getting in the powder or whatever. Um, there's any number of ways that, that this could happen over a 24 hour period. Um, but so in that case, if that does happen, I'm gonna, not gonna use that same powder because it's gonna change my, my velocity and completely change my tune. Um, you can see here looking at the groups that they all have a very similar POI but these two groups here are clearly running a lot slower and are you clearly have this uh, much larger group size going on here. So um, definitely this tells me that uh, I, what I think is happening is, is there's the humidity gets in here probably increases the size of the overall powder. And then when you do a, a volume you know, thrower, like this kind of a thrower that throws for volume, there's probably a larger volume now with the unsealed powder that now has more water content. So in your in your in your regular powder, sealed powder, it may be throwing 29.9 of N133, but in this one, it may only be throwing 29.7 or 29.8. Is was what I think is going on here, or the water content, the additional water content in the powder here. Um, uh, is not uh, it, it's obviously not the um, combusting at the at the rate that this is so it slows it down for some reason so um, anyway all that to say is practically speaking um, I do recommend that you um, store your powder uh, sealed um, and in an environment where um, you're not going to get a whole heck of a lot of humidity in it uh, because if you do it's going to change your tune it's going to change your velocity and and your group size is going to change also. So, all right. Well, thank you for watching. Um, please uh, subscribe, like, and share this video. Take care, everyone.